Grounded down to third, a chance for two. Beatty to second for one. A tough pickup from McNeil. Are they going to call the out? They are. And we got some hard feelings. And he is oh. still barking. All right, so we get some fireworks here between the Brewers and the Mets. We have a bench clearing. Well, I can't call it a brawl because there were no punches thrown. But the benches cleared. Let's talk about the situation. I want your opinion in the comments section below. So, 3-1 to one Brewers, top of the eighth. Man on first, one out. We have a ground ball that's going to be hit here to third base. Third baseman's going to feel that throw to second. And McNeil is going to get taken out here by Hoskins. You can see McNeil visibly frustrated, yelling down at Hoskins. So the benches end up clearing. You can see here McNeil looking towards Hoskins. He's going to drop an F you right there. And then Hoskins gives him the wah, wah, the fake crying. So there's been bad blood between Hoskins and the Mets for a while. So what I want to do is I want to go over the slide rule and first see if it was a legal slide. I want to know in the comment section below if you think McNeil has a right to be upset about this play. Now when I played second base back in the day, I used to get the absolute shit kicked out of me. There were no rules back then. You could kill people. And I'm sure many of you remember Chase Utley when he tried to kill somebody on the field. And you can see here... The reason he gets upset, just watch his leg right here. And this happened to me a bunch of times, but, I mean, you can break people's legs. We've seen people's legs actually get broken on the field before. So you could technically get your leg broken right there. I mean, that looks pretty painful. You can blow in a knee out. So you could have career-ending injuries on this play. But was the slide actually dirty? So I'm going to read the rule, and then we're going to look at the play. So here's the rule. When sliding into a base in an attempt to break up a double play, a runner has to make a bona fide slide. Such is defined as the runner making contact with the ground before reaching the base. So let's start there. So does he make contact with the ground before reaching the base? Yes, right there he makes contact before reaching. Being able to reach the base with a hand or foot. So you can see here his foot is Looks like it's barely touching, but I mean, he's sliding into the bag. He's able to touch with both his hand and his foot. Being able to remain on the base at the completion of the slide. So as he slides, he's on top of the base. And we get a little better look at that right here. You can see that he's holding on to the bag right there. So he stays in contact with the base the entire time and not changing his path for the purpose of initiating contact with the fielder. So you can see he's sliding straight in. And again, McNeil is basically using the base as protection, so he's trying to stay on the other side of the base. But what I was always taught was after you throw the ball, or in this case, he drops the ball, you still have to work on getting off of that left leg. So we were taught to jump from the left leg to the right. That way, if you do get hit, your leg isn't planted. Because if your leg is planted when you get hit, that's when you can break a leg. That's when you can blow out a knee. Now, the thing is, since the rule was put in place, there's much less contact at second. So a lot of second basemen don't really have to work on getting out of the way because they don't get hit anymore. Okay, let's finish the rule real quick. It says, the slide rule prohibits runners from using a roll block or attempting to initiate contact with the fielder by elevating and kicking his leg above the fielder's knee. That doesn't happen. Throwing his arms up or his upper body or grabbing the fielder. And I wouldn't say any of that happened either. When a violation of the slide rule occurs, the offending runner and the batter runner will be called out. Okay, so I have it down as a clean slide. What do you think? And do you think McNeil should be this mad at the play? And again, if you're a little bit older, it's crazy to think of the ways that runners used to go into the base. I mean, they used to be able to go in and literally kill people. And I was a second baseman at the major league level and for a long period of my career. And that is the most dangerous position when turning double plays because a lot of times you can't see what's going to happen to you because you're looking this way and here comes the runner from over here. And so again, we used to practice all the time getting up off of that left leg. You can't keep the left leg there. So you're going to put your left foot on the bag. When you catch the ball and go to throw, you've got to make sure that after you throw, or again, in this case, he drops the ball, you have to jump. You could still get hit, but getting hit with your foot not planted in the ground, it might hurt a little bit, but you're not going to break a leg or hurt a knee. If you keep that foot planted, well, then that can happen right there, and he's not going to be happy about it. Again, I'll stand with it, though. I think it's a late slide. I think it's a pretty hard slide, but I don't think it's against the rules, and so I'm fine with it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.